Hey there again, folks. Welcome back to the Real Long Walk. And let's get right in a boat. <laughs> right away in a boat. Taking the walk out of it. So like I've been saying, uh, it's been doing a lot better with the uh, with the actual terrain. That looks like a sizable landmass. To both sides, actually. But let's go with the trees. Let's choose the trees here. Hopefully the video looks alright. Uh, I'm recording with action rather than fraps, which is what I normally record with. Um, I'm distrusting fraps more than I have. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm, I'm going to I'm going to start using action to record Minecraft. I've been not recording uh, Minecraft with action. I've been I've been stubborn. I was like, I spent forty bucks on Fraps. I want to keep using this. I want to keep. I want to keep making use of that money. Um, I want to keep making use of it. So I, I've been kind of stubborn, but I think I'm going to start using it. I, I know when I first got Action that it seemed like there were some frame rate issues with Minecraft, but then again, there are frame rate issues with all games using Action originally. So. And those have now been solved. So hopefully it will be alright. Um, but definitely make sure to let me know if it looks, if the quality looks less, if the, if it looks less smooth, that sort of thing. Because sometimes it's, it's really hard for me to tell. Tell with stuff like that. I have a, I, I'm horrible I have a horrible. I have an horrible. What? I have a horrible eye for detail. Um, I know I. It's hard for me to tell stuff like dark blue and black, stuff like that. So yes, yeah, and you know this comes from somebody who used to like the Where's Waldo books. So yeah, let me know. Let me know if you, uh, what you guys think. One interesting thing, and it's kind of distracting me already. About action is it tells how long you've been recording, which is which is an excellent thing. That's that's, that's a lovely lovely addition. Because I I, I can't remember. You know I, I look at the clock like yes I start recording at seven fourteen, and then twenty minutes later thirty minutes later I'm like what time did I start again? Um I I think it's been at least twenty, probably at least twenty. Oh, in the episode here. So, uh, so yeah, that's, that is something that is, that is useful. That is a useful bit of information. So, yeah. Hopefully it'll work out pretty well. I've been really enjoying using Action for my other games. Uh, the, uh, the Bow Shots. The, um, The Lost Crown. Most of my, most of the games that are Minecraft I've been using with Action. Yeah, actually, everything, pretty much. I don't think I've been using fraps with any other game. Not not lately. Oh yeah, by the way, I, I forgot to mention it, but I, I cooked up my the steak that we gathered up from the last episode or two. So we shouldn't be running out of food for another few episodes. But let's go and eat. Go and eat now. <laughs> so yeah, um... Pretty tiny swamp there. Okay, just making sure I, my inventory was good. I should have checked that at the beginning of the episode, but I did not. Gotcha. I, I skimmed through it at the before I before I started recording. Since I was since I was cooking already, so kind of threw me off. Threw me off the regular pattern. Now, uh, there, there should be a video by the time that you're watching this on my channel that's pretty interesting. Uh, as you know, I've been playing Minecraft Bingo for quite a while. Sunday nights are when I play with the Bingo guys. And we see who can suck the worst at Minecraft Bingo, which I think I'm winning. I think I'm winning that, that one. I may be tied for the, the worst, but 
Man, I, I, I think I'm winning. I, I don't keep with the, up with the statistics that well. I'm, I, I would just bet a, a, a small bit of money that I am the winner of the worst. But yeah, we, uh, we play, we play, we, bleh, I can't talk this morning. Bleh, 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 bleh. We, uh, we see, you know, who can do the fastest. And, yeah, the, uh, the other night, a very interesting event occurred. I, <laughs> we, we had somebody new, uh, that the guy's name was Kerr J. Mack. You may have heard of him. <laughs> I'm sure I have mentioned him a handful of times, at least, through this series. I hope I have. Well, I definitely know I have. Especially since this series is based on one of his series, uh, Farlands of Bust, where he walks to Farlands for charity. So yeah, that was a really cool. Whoa! Halo 5 is coming out, if you didn't know that, or is already out. Um, so yeah, that was a really cool thing that, to have happen. Um... Kurt wasn't the... Oh, it is getting dark. Let, let's let us sleep. Um, Kurt wasn't the wasn't the one who got me into wanting to do YouTube videos. I'm pretty sure I've mentioned it before. There's Paul Sawyer's Jr. Who, uh, who got me into wanting to do the YouTube videos. He is one of the first uh, video game Let's Players that I, that I watched. But, because of him, I did get interested in Minecraft, and... And, uh... Two of the Minecrackers that I... And Kurt was, uh... Two, one of the two or three Minecrackers that... I, that I really enjoyed the most. Uh, and I think that he... You know, that... That his videos have influenced my, I don't know if I would say my decisions and you know what to play on the channel and stuff, except for maybe this series. I think this, yeah, you could say for this series <laughs> that that would be be the thing. But uh, the you know the the commentary style, I think, is something that I, that I have. You know that I've taken from them. You know, uh, or not taken from them, but you know, kind of gauge from them. You know, you know what I mean. You don't know what I mean at all, do you? Oops. Well, let's make a high boat. Fancy high boat. You know, him and him and Good are two of the Minecrackers that I really enjoy the best, and uh, because of, because of them, I. I think I really have really enjoyed more commentary based let's plays both watching and doing them you know I enjoy talking my way through through games through you know experiencing the games sharing them and uh, I think because of because of Kurt and uh, uh, good you know they're they're one of the re you know they, they have had a a uh, of inspiration be the I guess inspiration could be the word for it. Uh, sounds kind of weird, like boom, inspired. Um, insp yeah, inspiration seems like something hits in the head to inspire you. Maybe I'm, maybe I get inspired the wrong way. Maybe I need to take a lesson on getting inspired. Um, but yeah, that. Uh, yeah, I can't talk very good this morning. It's too early. It's too early considering I woke up at what three thirty, four. I can't remember. Woke up too early this morning. Can't talk. And I said that I <laughs> that I like doing uh, doing the commentary on the video games. Perhaps I should change it. Maybe I should change that style. So yeah, it's uh. It was a cool thing. It was a cool thing. That that's that's the point I'm trying to get across. It was a cool thing to to have happen. Um, so yeah, that video will be up today, probably before this, probably before this one will. So 
if you so wish to check it out, feel free. It has face cam on it because I use freaking action instead of fraps because well I used fraps for the first seed which I failed at miserably but it was lagging terribly it was taking me twice as long to to mine through blocks and I it, yeah it was going down to like one two frames a second at times so that went out the window and when I tried action it actually kept working pretty properly so I figured maybe it was Fraps that did that. I know I know that the same things actually happened for here in the really long walk. So that it might be Fraps that does that. Don't know why. And I don't know why it picks certain times to do it, but anyway, switched to action. I had played a horror game a couple hours before before uh, we played bingo and I had used face cam. Be expecting that video at sometime. Uh, I recorded a game called Knock Knock. It's alright. Don't think I'll play it again, but it's alright. That was the, that was actually the game I was playing on live streaming the other day. But there's no uh, no uh, windowed mode for it, so heck with that, or no windowed mode I can adjust to be able to stream on one monitor. So, yeah. Maybe not a bad thing that that didn't happen. Um... So yeah, I have face cam on it. Yeah, that that wasn't what I wanted to have happen. <laughs> Let's just say, yeah. My mouth was hanging open. And it, weird parts of it. The, the really weird thing, and I have no, noticed myself, and I'm pointing at the screen right now like you can see it. I, I gesture really a lot whenever I... Whenever I record my videos, and I noticed that whenever I say hello, I actually wave at a camera that actually saw me that time. I've noticed me doing that before. I've never mentioned it because, well, that's weird. <laughs> Let's wave at people who cannot see me. That's not strange. Maybe, maybe I'm, maybe I'm, uh, subconsciously one of those method actors where they, uh, where if they're you know, in a, uh, uh, or one of those method voice actors, I should say, if they're doing a role and they're supposed to be out of breath, they're like, okay, guys, I'm going to go run around the, run around the building several times. I'll be back and I'll be ready to record my lines. They come back when they're actually really tired. They're like, are we, are we away from me yet? So yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe I, maybe I should just say that's what I do. <laughs> Make it sound way more professional than it actually is. So yeah, base game, bingo action, with Kurt J. Mack. Enjoy the video if you so wish. The one, the one that's going up today I actually did good in for, for once, so that's, that's a pleasant surprise. I didn't totally suck. So yeah, what, what else, what else? Hmm. I think I covered everything there. Um. Hmm. I'm still playing a live streaming today. I don't know what time I'll put this video up, so it's probably irrelevant. If you're watching this and and it shows a and you see on the channel that I'm live streaming, then well, I guess it's too late. Or if you see a Deponia archive, Deponia the Complete Journey, then again. Probably too late. I'm gonna tweet it out so people will have a chance to see it, and the people who don't who don't have Twitter, you know, will probably see it in my sub feed. So, because I'm assuming that would be the other way to know when videos go go live. I always use Twitter. I don't I don't use my sub feed. I I uh, subscribe to a lot of folks, and. Uh, don't really have time to watch that many videos, so I always use Twitter to see what you know what I should watch. You know, when a new video of whatever comes out. Sometimes forget, but I always do that. Ooh, mushroom mushroom bomb. Sweet. It's actually been a while since we've had come across these probably several episodes. Since we've actually been coming across some land. This actually looks like it might be a small one. 
Or maybe not. I don't know. He might outsize one. Eh, it's probably large. Uh, I'm not going to worry about curving on around. Yeah, okay. It's pretty good size. Oh, oh okay. Nope. What direction? This this direction, yes. We're going in the right direction. Here's the sun. Hmm. At this point I might have thought that it was gonna be twenty that I had been recording for twenty minutes. Now I know that I that I've actually only been recording for fifteen, so woo. Woo for a change that hopefully works and looks okay. Hmm, what else? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna live stream to Pony. I'm gonna do two or three streams this week for it. Uh, make good progress in it. Especially if folks enjoy it. I I really enjoy that game. I really, I really want to share it you know, with folks. Because it doesn't seem like a game that's that super well known. Successful, but not as well known as some of the other games. Especially the Telltale games, which I guess maybe that is for a reason the Telltale games are more streamlined, dramatic, choice driven. You know, but they're sort of point and click it, but they're, you know, point and click adventures, you know, in a in the in a vein, they they would definitely be considered uh, maybe more simpler point and click adventures. Uh but then again, that doesn't but, but then again, you know, with the choices, you know, it's a lot more I can I would definitely say they're more compelling. They're not they don't rely on puzzles, you know, and that sort of thing, which which can I, I do definitely agree, you know, that they can get in the way of a story progressing, you know. Get stuck on a puzzle for like thirty minutes, an hour, like what am I supposed to freaking do with this thing? You know, I just want to see the next bit of the story. The Telltale games, they they do definitely have that down there, like bang, 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 bang. Oh, okay, wow. We just had a ton of story happen, uh, right in order. Well, that guy died. We had to we had to choose whether or not that person lived. Uh, we just made that lady angry. Dang it! I bet if I'm dying later, she won't help me. But you know, they're they're both still point and click adventures, and you know, both both of them I think do deserve deserve you know uh, some some. Some time in the sun, I guess. Probably a very strange way to put it, but, yep. <laughs> and, yeah, Deponia is a very humorous series of games. And it, it I think it, it does have, it could do well, you know, as a YouTube live stream. I think. Hopefully with, hopefully with folks there, it'll... You know, in live streams, you know, I mentioned before, you know, they're a little bit more... I don't know why I'm talking about this again. I talked about the same exact thing last time. Uh, they're, you know, live streams are a little bit more chill, laid back. So, you don't have to worry about talking all the time. Which, in a point-and-click adventure game with a lot of dialogue, that's a, that's a good thing, actually. It might actually be more suitable for live streaming. So yeah, that's. I hope it's going to work out because I I was kind of disappointed that that I just didn't feel it was working as a series earlier on in the year. Hmm. What else to talk about? Hmm. I guess I could talk about that knock knock game. Yeah, I'm, I'm not planning on playing that game again, but it was interesting. It's actually kind of got a point and click adventure feel to it, except you don't use a mouse, so it's not really a point and click adventure game at all. It's kind of a 2D. It's not really a side scroller either, but you do move back and forth through through a house, and there's weird noises, and it's kind of got. The main character, he looks strange. Uh, like he hasn't slept in years. And uh, he uh, he goes from room to room in his house 
turning on lights and things will make noises and and you'll see lights flick off that have been turned on before and things will start emerging from the shadows that sort of thing and it, I don't know how randomized it is seems like it might actually be somewhat randomized oh wow we've, we've traveled half a night by boat that's pretty unusual we don't normally don't travel that far by boat when it's night time seems like when it's night time hits about a minute or two we hit, we we find something out here anyway let's take a nap so yeah it's it's it was interesting anyway it wasn't super scary. There was, I think there was two or three times I did actually kind of jump, like, <laughs> ow. Cool. Oh, and I got turned around just like that. Um, but yeah, it, it I'm, I don't think I'm going to be playing it again. <laughs> um, hmm. What else? What else? Again, guys, if you if you have anything to to uh, that you want me to talk about, that you're curious to uh, for me to, to you know to have my opinion that sort of thing, let me know. I will. I, I could use material here. <laughs> um. Hmm. Oh, Minecraft story mode. I have finished watching uh, Tonic play it. I haven't watched Biz's last video of it. I need to make a note to watch it very soon. But they've both done a great job with it. If uh, if that's something you're interested in. Yeah, it, it, that's a pretty interesting one. That, um, I'm almost glad I didn't wait. You know, but, well... Yeah. I'll, I'll just watch them play it. I'll probably play it when, when the whole thing comes out. But that would have been the... That that would have been a very annoying thing for me to do. You know, you what? You know, you play through two hours of a game. You get interested in it, like, well, yeah, I'm interested in this. And then, then you have to wait two, three months for a new episode. And I haven't been keeping up super w well with it, but I do know that there's been delays with a lot of their with, with a lot of Telltale games. Um, you know, episodes of them. Uh, I remember Total Biscuit talking about it in one of the one of the podcasts how he was kind of how he did the same thing you know that I was talking about and he he started playing the Wolf Among Us and he got really into it and then it took four months for I think the last episode to come out it was longer than intended or expected and how he was just like you know what next time I'll just wait till all episodes are out and I will play it then. And having played the Walking Dead ones just here recently, both season one and two of them, I would have been, yeah, that's something you want to wait months to continue the story of. You know, it's I think it's easier to just not play it for a while, and then then play it all at once when it does finally come out. I guess, I guess you have to worry about spoilers. That is one thing, but. Then again, uh, I didn't really know too much about any spoilers from The Walking Dead, uh, season one or two of them, so I guess it's actually pretty easy to avoid spoilers of them. Just don't watch any videos. <laughs> There's a ton of videos for it out there, but I guess it's easy if you just don't watch them. Um, I mean, I know what, you know, from the Minecraft podcast, I'd heard good... Talk about it in pause too. I know they both did let's plays of it of, of the Walking Dead ones, and uh, but I don't remember. Yeah, I didn't remember anything that they had said that would have spoiled it. So, so thank th thank you for not spoiling, or either if you did, my brain did not retain it. So yeah, Minecraft story mode it's, it is interesting. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to wait. <laughs> Until Chris or uh, Biz plays it again for episode one or two. Oh, there's another little bit of land. We'll, we'll go ahead and do just a little bit more traveling. 
So yeah, um, I'll have to wait to see how the story continues. Hopefully Biz made a different decision than, than Chris did, or Tonic. Uh, I don't know why I correct myself. By now, if people actually watch this, they should know that Biz, that, that Chris and Tonic, same, same, same people, same person, same individual. I just, I'm not consistent on who I, on what I call people. Sometimes I call them butthole. Sometimes Mr. Butthole. But that, that was mostly when I worked for them. But yeah. I am going to go ahead and call it here because I know that it does, whoa, I just, you see, I pointed at the screen. Why would I point at a screen when you guys can't see me point? I think it's a condition. I think it is probably a psychiatric condition uh, <laughs> where I think people are watching me when they're not. I don't know. I'm just, you see, I, I keep doing it. It's weird. I just can't stop myself. I have always been bad about just talking with my hands a lot. And I'm not talking about if somebody gets on my nerves and I talk with my fists. I just wave my hands around a lot like a crazy person. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. How far have we went? 631,000 blocks we have traveled. Cool, cool, cool. Pretty good bit of progress today. I guess all the water did help. Help us make some more progress but I wouldn't have I wouldn't have minded more land. Hopefully hopefully we'll be seeing some more come up soon. So yeah I will see you guys in the next episode. Farewell.